Hey everyone, this is Pilot22, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Return of the Dark Sorcerer. Last episode, we went through that boss gauntlet, uh, trying to get through the. trying to make our way through to the Fallen Continent, and we were successful, so we landed here. So, with that, let's continue, shall we? Yeah, um, as for the last couple of days, yeah, I told you last episode, uh, I was kind of busy at work and all that stuff, so this is really the first time I really got a chance to play it and sit down and all that stuff. I did a test run earlier today to see how this area kind of goes, and actually, for the most part, I was successful. There are a couple of glitches here and there, which I think it got resolved. Anyway, we'll see how far we get in this particular episode. Anyway, the setup I have here is going to remain largely the same, because attacking Leech right now with Avalon for his physical attack is really not that useful. Uh, Havoc is still his main source of, of a damage output. However, by the end of this particular area, that will actually change, because we're going to find a weapon that I think almost breaks the game, but it, I still find it incredibly useful in the right situation. And as for other stuff that they got equipped, I'm probably going to leave everything the way it is. I'll leave staff protection on Avalon, magic protection on Profusia, and Ark at this point, keep the Paladin icon, because that actually is going to serve a purpose as well. Because, well, I'll save it till later. I'll let's just say that. Anyway, let's continue. And this area as well is actually pretty good for Fusoya because you can actually learn a couple lores at this point. There's at least three that I know of. There could be more. But I want to let you know I'm not going to go out of my way like to grind or try and find if enemies don't cast them. If I enter the area that we don't learn them, I'll let you know what they are. And I'll put them in the episode description as well too, so I don't have to wait that long anyway as it is. Anyway, we find... A burrow! Oh no! We thought you were a goner! Did he make it? He's fine. Let's go! We could really use your help. Yeah, he can actually be pretty useful in this area. Who? Yeah, he doesn't know who he is, because he, he wasn't there. He bolted. So yeah, a burrow's in a party. And for some reason he has low health. I forget what the reason is. Maybe that's why he left after the fight. Yeah, that's gotta be it. After the fight with the fire demon there and all those bombs earlier. We actually had the uh the he had low H lower HP that's actually ended up with. So yeah, and don't worry about your your pizza, it's just still good enough for this area, I guarantee it. And yeah, we'll finish up our, our spells as we go. I like the music here by the way too. Anyway, yeah, we got a couple of new enemies here. A little UFO, a ghost, and a behemoth. So, yeah. These guys, all these guys can put a hurt on you guys. I'm just letting you know, these guys, these enemies in the area are pretty challenging. Yeah, I like that. I hate that. Beam out. Well, at least if we lose the fight, we're not going to, like, lose because he was warped. I like that. Arc actually is so useful in attacking. Yeah, that UFO actually has really high evade. That's why I really like using Shurikens with him or Shadow. Or not, not Shadow. Oboro. Excuse me. But, yeah, just... A lot of these the enemy combinations are quite challenging. Why did I attack on that one? You know what? I'm running. Oh yeah, I can't run because for Soya. <laughs> this is perfect, and he's probably gonna die. Oh, let's just fast forward that.
yeah, so this area can be quite challenging, intimidating, whatever word you want to use to describe it. Heck, might as well use Frasoya's HP to, or MP to heal because he has a reduced magic cost. We find an Enforcer. This is a knife or a little blade here. But actually, let's show you the, its description first. The knife. Enforcer. For the merciless assassin in all of us. A borrow an arc. You can use it as pretty decent attack power with 150. Because the demon with thing that the arc has is so stronger, this by default goes to a borrow. Although he's really not going to be using it too much because he's always doing is using shurikens. Anyway, skip that little portal up here for the moment. There we go. We go. We gotta go right. These are the guys in the back row there. The misfit and the skeleton that can actually cast your spells that you might find somewhat useful. All right. I'll let you know. There's uh, from what I remember, there's level three confuse, level four flare, and the rippler spell that Frasoya can actually learn. So these actually are quite useful spells if you know the enemy stats and things like that. Yeah, don't be afraid to use the shurikens. They are basically quite useful here. And there are some enemies in this area as well can actually drop ninja stars, so if you're fortunate to have that happen to you, all the better. Especially for the boss coming up at the end. That actually is something I might grind for. I like how Ark actually has really high evasion. I'm trying to leave the skeleton to last. Well, luckily he lives. Not through that. Oh well. Oh, a thousand needles! That's a fourth one I can learn! Did Frasoya Fris Fris learn that? He does indeed! So that's a fourth one I can actually learn. Who'd have thunk it? Learn something new every time. Anyway, oh yeah, I'll save one save slot here too. Anyway, by default, you can kind of let's see the skill, kind of guess what that does. Deals a thousand damage, guaranteed. Cost no normally 50 ma 50 MP to use it because he has the void stone. It's 25. Anyway, we go down here and just walk into it, and we go to a hidden passage, a hidden treasure. Now here, you're gonna want to make sure everyone is in the back row. And you also want to make sure that someone has the acolyte, because even though it's not foolproof, this strategy, it can be useful on, on occasion. Anyway, we investigate the chest. Monster! And against a Hell Gigas. Now, this guy can hit hard, like very hard, so cast slow on him, absolutely. He is weak, I believe, to ice and holy. Blizzard, in my testing, I believe does more damage, so Blizzard wins by default. Only thing I stole from him was like a pizza, so I don't think it's worth it to steal. Let's see if I can change his scan, show how much HP he has. Yeah, I definitely want to keep your HP up, that's for darn sure. And when you're not doing anything else, you might as well use your heal. Or not heal, but blizzard or freeze spells. Yeah, it doesn't have that much HP, but you just gotta survive, that's the thing.
Yeah, for sure it can heal everyone, but he's the one that does all the freaking damage. So maybe Ark can heal. Or not. Well, it's up to Avalon and Versoia. Ow. Well, I'm dead. Why not? Why not just attack? Or not. Revenge. Ow. Ow! That did not go like I planned. And I died. The fate of the planet refused to change. Well, ain't that a kick in the butt. Load state. Let us try this again. Okay. Uh, Blizzard, just, I'm just gonna go all out, forget slow. Anything that has freeze, do it now. Your Acolyte, forget healing, just do it. Because he does have some stuff that can actually go around this. However, well, like that. Yeah, that's not good. Raise. Don't bother healing him. Just go out, go out all out with everyone else. Got him. Phew, that was imme immensely better. And for our victory, we got five magic points, Arc Learn Plague, hooray! And we got a crystal ball. And that is a pretty unique relic, which I should show you here now. It's near the top, I believe. Yep. Raises max MP by 50%. So you can theoretically combine the Void Stone and the Crystal Ball, and you can go nuts casting things. However, I don't, at this point in the game, I don't think it's really worth it to combine those two. It could be worth it in the future, but right now not so much because it's still uh, only so far into the game. Anyway, let's continue down the path, shall we? Now this area, actually, the actual layout has, is pretty much exactly the same as the original, so if you know this area, you pretty much know what to, what to do. Got some new enemies here. The Slimer. Slimer? Is that guy from the... From, uh, Ghostbusters? Wow, nice, nice reference. I did not encounter him last time. In my, in my, uh, test runs. Okay, don't like Plague. Although it kind of makes sense with the character. My, that kind of makes sense with the character. Death. Good miss. I like when those spells miss.
Now you keep healing, Ark. Yeah, there is a safe one here, so don't feel bad about using it when it comes up when we come up to it later. Actually, I can actually can do some damage. Anyway, let's continue. Well, I was the walk on the switch, but we got some enemies here. I'm running. Fast forward. Because my level is at this point, I think I'm doing pretty decent. I have maybe a bit over leveled, actually. the thing expand. Can't go up yet, have to go down. And have to go here because I can't go down the bottom yet. Okay, let's try and kill these guys. Havoc will miss on that little UFO actually quite frequently. There we go, I feel better now. I can take on Behemoth. Okay, these guys can still put a hurtin' on. Let's continue. Our way to go is here. Just letting you know the right path here is uh, dead ends. So don't bother going that way. Ah, oh, here we go. See if I can get rid of the top one first. As this guy should do some of those level four, three, and here we go. Oh, level five death. That's my one I can learn. Level four flare. Two and one. Not bad at all. Level 4 flare, level 5 death. I gotta remember all those things in the listing line. There's episode description I'll upload later. 
and he learned, so that's all good. Put him to Croesus, because the only thing he can actually learn there now is those two spells. Actually, no. Did I change it? I spoke too soon. Wrong person. Never mind. Anyway, let's go here. Lords, let's have a look at those spells we learned. Level 5 Death. Quite all obvious there. Flare, obvious as well. Not too shabby. All I'm going to learn now is level 3 Confuse, and I'll be happy. Okay, a couple things here. Hit this switch. Makes the platform go down, down, down there. Go up. We have some Lost Souls, preemptive attack, I'll take it. Fast forward through the animations. Okay, Happy is sending the miss a lot more often now. But don't fear our viewers, actually in the very near future, we all have a solution. Although honestly it is a more of a dangerous solution. Yeah, so I actually got a question for you viewers, I'm kind of putting it out to all my friends as well, so if anyone got any opinions on that, I would be much much obliged. Uh, I think I mentioned in the previous episode that I'm actually in the process of getting a new computer for my 30th birthday, coming up in a month and a half. So, as far as budget concern, I'll, okay, I'm in Canada, I'm going to have a budget of, I'm going to round it to $700. Yeah, $700 is my budget, and I need to see what I can get for that, whether it's worth it to actually build a computer for that amount, or buy one if it's refurbished or buy one new for in and around that range. As, uh, in terms of what I want to do with it, um, I want it to run as a media server, because I have a whole bunch of shows I have stored on my hard drives, a lot of videos I have, movies and the like, a lot of them are in HD quality, like Blu-rays and all that stuff that I have. And my computer currently speaking, and you'll see if you look at my profile description, currently cannot keep up with it. Like it runs standard definition fine, and regular movies are fine, other of the non-HD variety are fine. I'm just going to run this from the fight if that's okay viewers. Yeah, so the, the non-HD stuff is fine, but when I run into an HD quality file, it buffers every five minutes, then it doesn't stop unless you load the quality on, on the stream. So... Okay, I missed some guys. Yeah, so I'm going to need something that can actually handle thing, handle my server. Uh, secondly, I'm going to want a computer that has a bit better capability for video editing at this point. Because while my computer right now can currently keep up with my quality settings right now as it is, my video that we actually have it here is, uh, let's just say taking up maybe uh, a quarter of my of my uh, screen. So I can't record anything on a full screen. I know you require a pretty decent computer to actually go things a full screen, but I want to be able to have that option. And third, and certainly not least, I actually want to be able to play more games. Currently, my computer is from 2008 era, and the video card I have, the, radio, the uh, NVIDIA GeForce card, is like from 2009 or 10. Uh, I got a couple years after my, from my computer. So, it is basically a five-row video card. I can't run any new games at all. I'm hoping that I can be able to get a video card and whoever build I do get 
that is at least capable of running the new games, like within the year, within this past year and previous. I I have no care of having everything at the top of the line. Like I don't really demand high specs because I'm not that kind of a gamer. I just want to be able to play the game. There's my main goal. So yeah, if anyone lets me know. Anyone can let me know of a good suggestion in in Canada. Uh, or, or anyone has references that knows where to look up that kind of stuff, I would be much appreciated. Hooray for Seal of Death! Yeah, so anyone, anyone has any suggestions, let me know, viewers, I would appreciate that. We're not too far from the end of this particular area. Now we've got the path clear. And go down the rounds. Uh, let's see. Let us save state. Anything to the left? Nope. I'm going to rewind. Can't go that path yet because it's actually uh, stuck. Okay, I'm just going to run. Yeah, the fireball actually helped a lot. I was quite thankful. That actually is the way to go at the end. And this is where I was, wait everyone I was waiting for viewers. The bison boat, if that's pronounced correctly. First, Avalon goes in the front row now. It, I'll show you this description. It is high quality iron sand sword. Gains power as HP decrease. Probably should probably should say decreases, but eh, I'll forgive that. It's one letter, no big. And yeah, it's got pretty decent attack power. It gives you one of the speed plus ten to evade. And yes, it's definitely going to go here as number one sword. And it's going to go the Koga Koga Kogara Sumaru is going to be his sub the other source he's going to do will now sacrifice some defense. But that's also the point because the less HP he has, the higher damage he does. And with his current setup, he can do probably, when he has, I, in my testing, he can actually uh, do like, when he has like 800 HP, over 2,500 damage with just his one sword. And obviously by his current HP being 2,100, he can out, he can potentially do a lot more damage. So that is actually quite useful. Yeah, I'm just going to run from here, down here. Here's a save point. I shall definitely take advantage of that of yours. Because my guys are starting to hurt a little bit. Fast forward. The animation. Absolutely save it. And actually, I think this might be a good place to call the episode here of yours. And between this episode and the next episode, I may go ahead and just walk right around because there's a save point here and I've got a couple uh, shelters I can use at this point. The enemy I'm looking for is basically the dragon, as you probably remember from the original game viewers. The one you'd be able to steal Genji Ghost from. And when I fought him a couple times, I actually was able to earn myself two ninja stars in my, in my uh, test run. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get lucky and fight and uh, fight a couple of those and uh, get some ninja stars. If I don't, I'm not going to make a big deal of it. I'll probably fight for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes off screen and see if I can get lucky. If I do, great. If not, no big. And yeah, after that, we're going to go see if we can take on the boss of this another area. And that it's a whole other challenge in and of itself. So, with that, thanks for watching. This is Pilot Career 2. And yeah, this uh, another episode of uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Return of the Dark Sorcerer. And I'll probably upload another one in the end of the day or two. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment in the section below. I uh, appreciate that very much. Alright, thanks so much. Bye-bye.